It's incredibly easy for someone to sniff the air in your environment and pull out key information that will allow them to become a serious threat to your network. Many think ACLs and network-hosted applications will protect them, but with today's complexities, hackers can exploit this mentality and hand out some serious security breaches. This can be done with rogue APs, man-in-the-middle attacks, evil twin, and many, many more angles to trick these systems. So how do you protect your airspace? Extreme air defense is the perfect way to do so. Air defense has been around for a long time, the first patent being submitted in 2002. It is the first product to introduce 24-7, 365 wireless monitoring and has built up a database of over 300 threats. It is the most mature wireless security platform on the market. You can leverage real-time tools, historical forensics, alarm automation, and threat mitigation, just to name a few. The reporting availability within Air Defense includes Custom Report Builder that offers over a thousand different fields. Let's take a look, starting with the dashboards. Air Defense offers the ability to create custom dashboards so you can take a quick look at the items you wish based on whatever scenarios you're interested in. This will provide a graphical view so you can zone in on threats and service issues quickly. Managing and creating these dashboards is quite simple. Select Create, choose the widgets you wish to monitor on your dashboard, give it a name, and save. Instantly, you will see the data is populated and you can move between dashboards whenever you want. The next powerful screen that Air Defense has to offer is the networking screen. Here, you can drill down into your network tree. You can access all of the sensors on your network, view BSSs in your airspace. You can also drill into your wireless client devices, where you can search and view current status of connections and their classifications. We also provide BIPs, Bluetooth Intrusion Protection, so you can protect your airspace against BLE phishing attacks and secure your wayfinding or customer engagement applications. From the Pulled Devices menu, you can select a sensor and run specific tools such as LiveView or Advanced Forensics to get information tied directly to the sensor point of view. This can be very useful for both security and troubleshooting purposes. The same thing can be done from the client side as well. You can search for a name, MAC address, SSID, client type, and other attributes. Then you can locate that device on a map, run tools such as LiveView or Advanced Forensics, manually classify it, troubleshoot, or even create automation rules for the next time it's visible. The last of the operational screens in Air Defense is the alarm screen. Here, you will see alarms that are active or have been active within a certain time period. You can use the network tree and searches to drill into key areas of interest. When you want to address an alarm, you can use the menu on the alarm to locate the device, run tools, or initiate mitigation techniques such as termination. Air Defense has a threat database above 300 and continues to grow. It provides several methods to manage alarms and how those alarms are generated. This will prevent false positives, data overload, and provide the security team with real and actual data that is current and important to the operations. With over 300 threats to alarm on, you can use this alarm configuration screen to exclude networks or devices, change priorities, set up how long the alarm should be visible after it has been activated and may no longer be happening, and even disable it altogether. Configuring alarms isn't the only way to manage false positives. Use the Device Action Manager to create highly advanced rules to auto-classify devices and networks helping trigger or ignore even more granular based threats. This eliminates false classification of rogues and neighbor devices. You can auto-sanction devices, classify roles, and even specify types of security and networks devices should be expected to stay on. Once you have classified your devices and set up how you want to trigger your alarms, you can move to the Alarm Action Manager. This is where you set up automation when alarms are triggered. To create this automation, you would search for the specific alarm you want to action from. In this case, we are searching for a rogue. Once you choose your trigger, you can use a set of filters to add granularity to the conditions you wish to actually trigger from. In this case, we are choosing that the client is associated to that rogue AP. Finally, you can select what actions are appropriate when that alarm is triggered. You can send email, reports, you can activate mitigation techniques such as ACLs, port suppression, or termination. And you can initiate info gathering such as running AP tests, frame captures, wireless vulnerability tests, spectrum analyzer, and of course, send syslog messages to your NOC. Air Defense provides a way for the operator to locate devices on a map. This is useful when looking for rogue APs, hacking devices, and even BLE beacons. 
Here, we can see what tracing a device looks like. And here, we can see what a BLE beacon looks like. Of all the powerful tools Air Defense has to offer, Live View and Advanced Forensics are the most popular. Here, we are looking at Live View being run on a client device. This device is running a scan on the network, and Live View is showing us all the end nodes on this network that the scanning device is able to talk to. We can also use Live View to view and capture frames coming from that client. From an access point perspective, we have a similar dashboard, mapped connections of devices to the access point, as well as their signal levels. We can capture frames sent to the access point and even filter out which frames we want to watch for a more targeted security or troubleshooting live session. We can also watch BLE frames in the area identifying Eddystone and iBeacons as well as their service sets such as UUID with their major minor configurations. Because we are pulling in over 325 stats per device per minute, we can leverage advanced forensics to go back in time and look at exactly what happened. Here, we can see the tool being used on an AP providing stats on the threat analysis and breakdown, traffic use, a breakdown of traffic per device, channel use, and bandwidth analysis. You can also leverage the AP tab for troubleshooting things like the adoption history. Leveraging the same tool on a client device, we can see the dashboard snapshots, device connectivity information, and threat analysis. We can also see the association history to track where the device has been and how long it has been there. We can also use this data later to correlate other devices that have shared the same access points. We can also use the location heat map to provide an accurate representation of where that device is typically seen. This can be used as a handy tool when addressing COVID contact tracing. As mentioned earlier, Air Defense has a rich reporting database from inventory to compliance. Even more powerful, the custom reports supply over a thousand different fields that you can use. In our example here, we created a report that correlates devices that have shared APs with a target device. This will allow us to track users who have shared a physical space with someone who may have tested positive for COVID. As you can see, this report shows each access point the device was connected to and all of the devices that were also connected to the same access point with their duration. So what else does Air Defense have to offer? Air Defense also has tools such as AP test. You can use your sensor to act as a client, connect to a wireless LAN remotely, and report on any failures from authenticating to running ping tests and file transfers. The Spectrum Analyzer tool provides a method of checking above and beyond just data. With this tool, you can look for non-802.11 interference, channel utilization, physical over-the-air statistics, and see your airspace RF energy far more clearly. You can also use the Wireless Vulnerability Test to check what other clients can access across your system. Acting as a client, run port scans, and use your sensor to test your ACLs and network security to make sure there are no gaps. Running this remotely becomes a very handy tool. Thank you for watching this video on Air Defense. If you have any questions, would like to see a demo, or look deeper into the tools you saw here, please reach out to your local Extreme Networks account teams. Thank you.